All right, thank you, Brian, and welcome everyone to this April 8, 2024 meeting of the Homewood City Council. Uh, we're, the mayor has an announcement for us to start with tonight. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, no, simply, I know we had a little bit of time before the meeting, but I wanted to introduce everybody to Brandon Sims, who is our new IT director. For those, for those of you who have not met him, uh, Brandon, if you do, you want to say a few words. You're more than welcome to. Uh, but just wanted to make sure everybody puts a uh, face with a name. Um, so Brandon's already doing fantastic things uh, for the city, so we're very glad he's here. But uh, just wanted to again introduce you guys. Well, hello everyone. Um, again, my name is Brandon Sims. I'm really excited to be here. Um, thank you all in advance for all of the job security that is here <laughs> waiting on me. So, um, but uh, yeah, yeah. But we've we've jumped in and um, we've we've already started to develop a vision and a plan. So, be looking forward to see some changes coming down the down the pipeline. All right. Thank, thank you, you Brandon. We are very happy to have you. All right, so uh, I will go ahead and now call the meeting to order. Um, we're going to start tonight with an invocation from Mr. Hardin. Is that right? Yes. And that will be followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. If everyone will please stand. Bow your heads. Dear Lord, we just thank you for the world you've given us here in Homewood. I want to thank you for the, for the city council and for, our, for the people who work for the city of Homewood, and thank you mostly for the citizens of Homewood who don't always agree with everything we do, but they really care, and that's, Lord, what I think is important here. But we want to be grateful for all you've given us for this wonderful city, and please continue to bless us. Amen. Amen. Everyone face the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic. All right, thank you, Mr. Hardin. Mr. Seacrest, if you will please call roll. Yes, sir. Councilor Gwaltney. Here. Gear. Here. Alamon. Here. Wolverton. Here. Sims. Here. Jones. Here. Smith. Here. Nelms. Here. Andrus. Here. Hardin. Here. President White. Here. All right, so we got a full house. house tonight. Um, next is the reading of the minutes from our council meeting of March 20, 2024. Those have previously been distributed. I'd entertain a motion and a second for, to dispense with the reading of those minutes and for approval of the same. So moved. Second. second. All right. <laughs> motion by Ms. Smith, second by Ms. Nelms. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Aye. Those are approved 11 to 0. Next we have board vacancies. Um, where, where am I going to start? Let's start with Ward 1 Beautification Board. I believe we got one applicant for one of the spots. Uh, you want me to let you do it? It's your, yes, you're the that, liaison. we I'll received one um, candidate. Um, so we would like to, one, reopen a position until April 22nd. Um, and two, we would like to um, appoint, um, Bo, you have the, the name, is it, is it Miss? M Mr. McCurdy? Yes, Mr. McCurdy, uh, if I'm pronouncing this right, Cin Cintron? Cintron. Okay. So we would like. I'm sorry, he goes by Ron. Okay. okay. Even better. I would like, <laughs> we would like to appoint Ron McCurdy, Ward 1, and I'll, uh, for Beautification Board. All right. So we have a motion from Mr. Sims. Do we have a second? Second. Second, second for Ms. Gear. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? That is 11 to 0. Congratulations to Mr. McCurdy. And then we will open that the other Ward 1 beautif beautification board position until April 22nd at 4.30. Uh, we also need to reopen the Ward 2 BZA appointment uh, re position. Uh, we will reopen that until April 15th at 4.30. Uh, we also have uh, Ward 4 Park board uh, position that I believe we have um, four. four candidates for. We do, we okay. do. So we're going to need to set um, interviews for that, um, and I, I know that there might be some interviews for. Yeah. So the week of the fifteenth, there are going to be some. We're going to get to that. There's going to be some school board interviews. Right. So if we could avoid that, that, that um, would be great. Yeah. At least uh, that Wednesday, I think, is what y'all are looking at. So. Okay. So. Um, 
if you wanted to do them this coming week, that would be great. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Segrist, is there a way for you to get in touch with those four candidates and see if maybe they could interview um, either Wednesday evening or I can do Thursday evening, but it would need to, they need to start at like 530 because I have a. What week is that? This uh, week. This week. Oh. Yeah. The uh, 11th, 10th and 11th, 10th or 11th, can we try? See I'll if reach out first thing in the morning. Okay. All right. Yeah. Get, so we'll schedule. see. And if that doesn't work, we'll figure it out from there. Okay. Yes, Sounds good. Uh, we also have award for library board that, that is still open until the 22nd. Um, and then lastly, we have the Ward 2 Board of Education position that we will open until next Monday, uh, April 15th at 4.30, uh, just so everyone's aware, because we got to do this in April by statute. So uh, just so everyone's aware, the Ward 2 reps have identified uh, April 17th, starting at 5 o'clock for any interviews, assuming that we get multiple candidates. So uh, you can go ahead and mark your calendar for that. All right. Uh, we do have two additions to the agenda tonight. Uh, the first is to committee referral. It is 120424, request for consideration to authorize the mayor to sign a contract with Carr, Riggs, and Ingram for accounting work. Uh, this is my item, and it will go to finance. Uh, the second one is to other new business. It's 130424, request for consideration to change bank signatures, brought to us by J.J. Bischoff. Uh, we'll deal with that one tonight. Um, with those two additions i would entertain a motion and a second for approval of the amended agenda so moved second, second. all right motion by miss smith second by miss nelms all in favor aye, aye. any opposed that is approved 11 to zero oh, sorry. president Wyatt. yes sir um, yes ma'am <laughs> It's fine. Um, everybody thinks I'm a guy anyway. Um, I'd like to make a motion to go into executive session. Oh, no, let's oh, do that go afterwards. at the end. Yeah, thank you, though. That's okay. All right, let's do other old, new, old business agenda first. Okay, uh, first item, 110224, uh, bid opening for April 22nd, 2024 at 445 p.m. for fire facilities maintenance bid. It's brought to us by Deputy Chief Broadhead. Uh, we're going to carry that item over for the bid opening on the 22nd. Next item, 090324, request for consideration of budget amendments for fiscal year 2324. Uh, this is also brought to us by Deputy Chief Broadhead uh, and J.J. Bischoff. Uh, we'll start with a report from finance. Mr. Jones. Yes, sir, Mr. President. The uh, Finance Committee met on uh, April the 1st. Uh, that's not April Fool's joke. Uh, we met at 5 o'clock and... Uh, after hearing from uh, Deputy Chief Broadhead, we voted uh, three to zero to recommend approval. All right, so we have a motion from finance. Any questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? And that is approved 11 to zero and be resolution 2438. Next item, 10-03-24, request to authorize the mayor to sign an agreement for Fire Station 3 edition, also brought to us by Deputy Chief Broadhead, and another report from Finance, Mr. Jones. Yes, sir, Mr. President, the uh, Finance Committee met and voted 3-0 to zero to uh, approve this item. All right, so we have another motion from Finance. Any questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? And that is also 11-0 to zero and will be resolution 2439. Next item, 110324, request for consideration of no parking striping and signage near 1665 28th Avenue South, brought to us by Cale Smith, and we'll start with a report from Public Safety, Mr. Gwaltney. Yes, sir, Mr. President, the committee met, and after hearing from Mr. Smith, the council voted three to zero to recommend approval of the item. The motion was made by Councilor Nelms and approved by, or, I'm sorry, seconded by Councilor Jones. All right, uh, so we have a motion from Public Safety, but uh, Mr. Kendrick, will you give us the first reading? Yes, there's an ordinance to further regulate traffic in the city of Homewood on or along a portion of 28th Avenue South in the city and to provide for penalties therefore. Section one, that it should be unlawful for any person, firm, or corporation to park a motor vehicle on or along that portion of 28th Avenue South near 1665 28th Avenue South as depicted in Exhibit A attached here to Section two. The violation of this ordinance shall be punished as provided by Section 1-8 of the Code of Ordinances, Section 3, the Chief of Police, for the city is authorized and directed to direct and install, cause, install markings as identified in Exhibit A on along that portion of 28th Avenue South. Section 4, if any part of provision of the ordinance declared to be unconstitutional by a court of company jurisdiction and all other parts not affected thereby, it should remain in full force and effect. Section 5, the 
Ordinance shall become effective immediately upon its adoption by the City Council and approval by the mayor is otherwise becoming law. All right, so we have a motion from Mr. Sims. Second. Second from Mr. Alamon. And a roll call vote, please, Mr. Secret. Yes, sir. Council Gualdi. Yes, sir. Gear. Yes. Alamon. Yes. Wolverton. Yes. Sims. Yes. Jones. Yes. Smith. Yes. Nelms. Yes. Andrus. Yes. Harden. Yes. President White. Yes. Okay. All right, so we uh, have unanimous consent. I would entertain now a motion and a second for approval. So moved. Second. Motion by Mr. Gwalney, second by Ms. Nelms, and another roll call vote, please, Mr. Seacrest. Yes, sir. Councilor Gwalney. Yes, sir. Gear. Yes. Alamon. Yes. Wolverton. Yes. Sims. Yes. Jones. Yes. Smith. Yes. Nelms. Yes. Andrus. Yes. Harden. Yes. President White. Yes. So that is also 11 to 0 and will be Ordinance 2894. <coughs> Next item, 120324, request for consideration of special arts council idea uh, brought to us by Beverly Luff and uh, Councillor Smith. And uh, we'll start with a report from special issues. Ms. Smith. Yes, the committee met last week and we um, had a presentation from Beverly LaBeouf and Amber Parsons who are members of the arts council. And we voted four to zero to recommend approving the item. Um, it's probably not gonna happen. The actual event is probably, or the activity is not going to happen until next budget year um, and they're going to kind of take control of that in the Arts Council so we voted to approve it the motion was made by Miss Andrus and seconded by Mr. Alamon and I and I think just to clarify what we did in committee this is really I think we figured out was a permission to work in the right of way right. correct yes okay. right exactly just for them to put out yes okay. so we have a motion from special issues any questions or comments all in favor aye, aye. any opposed as approved 11 to 0 and will be resolution 2440. Next item 130224, uh, rescheduled public hearing uh, for tonight at 6 p.m. for consideration of a sign variance at 1706 Oxmoor Road, brought to us by Jenny Levins of Goody's Toy Store and Wyatt Pugh. And we'll start with a report from Special Issues, Ms. Smith. Yes, this has been a while because we had this originally in committee on March the 4th. Um, and we voted to send this item out without recommendation pending the public hearing, um, which was supposed to have been uh, on March 25th, but is now tonight. And um, the motion was made by Ms. Andrus and seconded by Mr. Alamon. All right, thank you very much. So with that, I'll go ahead and open the public hearing. I see we've already got someone at the podium. If you will, just tell us your name and I, I saw you already signed in, but just tell us your name and, and what you're proposing. Yeah, good evening. My name is Joe Levins. Uh, my wife, Jeannie Levins, is um, uh, the author, I guess, of the request for the variance. We own Goody's Toy Store, uh, which is, I think the address is actually 3027 uh, Oxmoor. I apologize for that. But um, essentially what it is is uh, about a five and a half, six foot old school carousel horse that you would see at, you know, at the zoo that you ride on. Uh, that is our logo as the toy store. Um, <coughs> looks very much like that. If I can step away, I realize I'm it's going to go right on top of where the key row sign is. Uh, that, that brick awning that you see actually, the roof actually sits a little bit below it. So the base of the carousel will only go about four or five feet above the actual roof line that you can visibly see from the street. Um, really, it's, it's sort of a marketing uh, campaign for us. It simply matches our logo. It makes the store visible for customers, potential customers. Um, it's very attractive as you drive down the street. It's not nice or anything like that. We kind of view it very similar to the ice cream cone that you see on Edgewood Creamery uh, downtown in the Strip. It's just a similar emblem of the store. Um, and so we'd love a, a variance to put it up. Uh, it doesn't weigh very much. I can lift it myself. Um, so there's no structural concerns. Um, but I'm happy to answer any questions um, and appreciate you hearing me out. Um, is, let me do this real quick. Is there anyone else here to speak for or against this item? If not, then I will close the public hearing. Um, let me ask this logistics question first because we need to make sure we've got it right for the resolution if this passes. Do we, are we sure about the address, what the correct address is? The between? resolution says 3027 is open on the That's correct. Got That's it. That's the correct one. Yes. Just with notice that we re-advertised. That we re-advertised. Yes. Perfect. Thank you. All right. Any questions or comments from council? Mr. Harden. Let's pretend you decide to move from there. Are you willing to proffer to take that down when it's time for you to leave that building? Absolutely. We'll be glad to take okay. it down if we move locations, yes. Okay. Anybody else? 
I do have one more question. Um, so are you saying that it's going to go on the top of the building or on the, on the level in front of the sign? No, it's going to actually go on the top of the building, right? On yes, it'll area. go on top okay. where that arrow is. So and, so and when go, you and when, go above where the hero logo okay. is. And when you said something about the platform being a few feet above, above what? So if you, if you imagine the very top row of brick above the hero, uh -huh. imagine it sits like this. The street is over here and the roof is here. The roof actually drops below that brick line. Behind it. Behind it, correct, mm -hmm. yeah. So the, the carousel will sit here and then extend. And so you, you actually probably wouldn't even see the base of the carousel. So are you securing that to the roof? Yes, yeah, so there'll be a platform and then it will be strapped to the platform, which will be either welded or anchored by screws to the roof, yes. As long as your landlord's happy. Since, since, well, the, since the ice cream cone was brought up, it, that's a really old sim symbol, isn't it? Or is that something that was, um, go ahead, Marshall. No, I was going to say the, that that's a, a not above the roof line. Uh, and mm -hmm. so that was part of the, the new development when Edgewood had the revitalization mm -hmm. that they added. It's that. old. It's, Why it's not, above, it's not yeah. above the Walter's the only one that can probably answer that question. Yeah, right. if that gives Sorry. you any indication. Wyatt, Wyatt what is Walter's the variance the can we're considering? Yes, uh, the ordinance restricts the height of roof signs um, su such that they cannot extend beyond the highest peak of the roof. Okay, so. got it. So if you had a roof, say, yeah. like the roof was angling down and you had a roof sign here, yeah. as long as it didn't extend up above that highest peak, mm -hmm. it would be okay. But in this case, since it's on the parapet, it okay. extends up, obviously, so it's a variant. And since you said it's, I know you said it's light enough for you to lift by yourself, how are y'all gonna get it up there? So there, there's, actually a, there's actually a stairwell back behind, oh, okay. and so we'll, we'll dolly it up there and, and, and kind of roll it over gotcha. to the location, okay. yes. Okay, just, just curious. I had a quick question. Yeah. Do, we, do we already have a sense of what the actual logo looks like on the building already? Mm -hmm. I mean. It's, it's already on there. If it's already, I mean, I just want to, in terms of visibility, um, I mean, it, it, it looks just like it looks like the, the hero left. sign. Like right there, right above where the hero is, it's that. It's that. It, no, it's that where the hero is. is. It says goodies where hero is. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Can you that's pull it, it down, Brian? It's it's to the left. Carlos. Yeah, there it is. That's what it looks like. Right the there. Horse in that picture with the goodies is not there. That's what this. One right. No, the horse is not there yet. Correct. Uh -huh. Right, just the Goodies Goodies is sign where hero is. is. Yes, because he was waiting for tonight before they put the sign. So I, I have an image of the goodies on my Instagram. If anyone would like to see it on my phone, I realize that's pretty elementary to walk around and hand it to you, but uh, I do have that if, okay. if that would help. Cool. And I just had one more question. Yep. Uh, when we met, did you mention that you might paint something on the side of the building, or is that? Am I no, remembering I, I, wrong? No, we, okay. we haven't painted anything. We, we do have signage in the windows that was pre-approved and has been put up. It matches the okay. logos that were on there, but there's nothing on the side of the buildings. Okay. No. The wall signs are painted signs. Maybe that's what okay. you're, you're thinking of. Okay. It was, isn't that correct? Where it says goodies is there's not a, painted There's sign? a goodies where the, the hero top. was, yeah. um, but on the, on the, yes, and that is painted. Okay. Yes. Yeah. All right. Any other questions or comments? I'd make a motion to approve. Second. All right, so we have a motion from Ms. Smith and a second from Ms. Nelms. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? No. no. Is that two no's? Okay, so that is nine to two and will be resolution 2441. All right, thank you. Thank you. All right, next item, 030324, public hearing set for tonight for authorization to repeal ordinance 2813, flood damage prevention ordinance, and replace it with floodplain development ordinance as required by FEMA. This is brought to us by Cale Smith, and we'll start with a report from planning and development. Ms. Andrus. Okay, um, after hearing from Cale Smith, the committee voted four to zero to recommend approval. The motion was made by Councilor Andy Gwaltney and seconded by Councilor Nick Sims. All right. Thank you very much. With that, I will go and open the public hearing. I see Mr. Smith is already there. If you will, just give us a brief recap of what we're doing here. Yeah, I'm not sure that I did a great job last week explaining um, what this ordinance, what the purpose of it is. So um, I just wanted to share a few other comments in addition to those that I made last week. 
Since HOMA joined the NFIP um, in the late 90s, we've had a CRS rating of nine. And so that's like the lowest that you can go. Um, if you fall out of a nine, then you're out of the NFIP. Um, our goal this year is to get to an eight. So at a nine, we folks that live in Homewood that are in the floodplain get a 5% reduction in their flood insurance premiums. And an eight would get us to 10% reduction in flood insurance premiums. And we get those credits by um, the most important would be in this floodplain ordinance, but then also things like um, public mailers having flyers at our public buildings, things like that. Having, having Sherry as a, as a floodplain manager, certified floodplain manager, gets us credit. So it's different credits that Shoal Engineering is helping us identify and Sherry is helping us identify. And then we'll combine all of those to our recertification, which happens this summer. So this ordinance coupled with all those other credits that we get will hopefully get us to an eight, um, okay. or at least keep us out of nine. All right. Is there anyone else here to speak for or against this item? I'll close the public hearing. Are there any questions or comments from council? Yes, sir, Mr. President. I had two. Yep. Mr. Smith, are we at risk of falling out of being a nine? No, I don't think so. Okay. Yep. And uh, second, what's the cost to the city between, is there additional salary required for her to take on that task? I assume with the personnel board, the way it's structured, there would be. For her to, what does that mean? For Sherry to take on the additional responsibilities of managing the <coughs> floodplain? She is, she is currently a, okay. a certified floodplain manager. So she's, so there's she's no had that certification costs. since she's been here. Okay. Um, what other costs to the city are we looking at? Just out of curiosity, if you can ask. Just uh, probably some mailers. We get the pamphlets from FEMA for free. Okay. And so, so we just deliver those to the library. Oh, so relatively so none. low cost. Right. Awesome. It's okay. low hanging fruit. Yep. Cool. Thank you. Yep. All right. Any other questions or comments? If not, uh, Mr. Kendrick, would you give us a first reading? Uh, yes, sir. This is a 58 page ordinance, so I will do my best. <laughs> uh, Division one deals with generally provides for statutory authorization, finding of facts, and statement of purpose and objectives. Division two deals with general provisions, lands to which the ordinance applies, basis of special floodplain areas, establishment of a floodplain development permit, compliance, abrogation and greater restrictions, interpretation, warning, and disclaimer of liability, penalties for violation, and saving clause and repealer. Division three deals with administration, designation of floodplain administrator, permit procedures, duties and responsibilities, of the floodplain administrator. Division four deals with provisions of floodplain hazardous reduction. It sets out general standards, specific technical standards, floodways, building standards for streams without base flood elevations, standards for areas of uh, shallow flood zones, standards for subdivisions and other developments and critical facilities. Division five deals with variance pr procedures, designation of variance and appeals board, duties of the board, conditions, for variances, variances procedures, variances for historical structures, variances notifications and records. And Division six has definitions applies to the ordinance. All right, thank you very much. Uh, I would now entertain a motion and a second for unanimous consent. So moved. Second. All right, motion by Ms. Smith, second by Ms. Nelms, and a roll call vote please, Mr. Seacrest. Yes, sir. <coughs> Councilor Gwaltney. Yes, sir. Gear. Yes. Alamon. Yes. Wolverton. Yes. Sims. Yes. Jones. Yes. Smith. Yes. Nelms. Yes. Andrus. Yes. Harden. Yes. President White. Yes. So that's 11 to 0. So now I'd entertain a motion and a second for approval. So moved. Okay. A motion for Mr. Gwaltney, second for Ms. Gear, and another roll call vote, please, Mr. Seacrest. Yes, sir. Councilor Gwaltney. Yes, sir. Gear. Yes. Alamon. Yes. Wolverton. Yes. Sims. Yes. Jones? Yes. Smith? Yes. Nelms? Yes. Andrus? Yes. Harden? Yes. President White? Yes. So that is 11 to 0 as well and will be Ordinance 2895. All right, next item, 040324, public hearing set for April 22nd, 2024 at 6 p.m. for consideration of an amendment to the final development plan for Sanford University, 800 Lakeshore Drive. Uh, the site address is 849 uh, Montague <coughs> Drive uh, to permit the proposed construction of a new three-story addition to the existing north parking deck that would expand the current structure and add an additional 550 parking spaces as a means to accommodate the university's on-campus parking needs. This comes to us from the Planning Commission with a vote of 5 to 0 favor favorable recommendation. 
So we will carry that item over for the uh, public hearing at our next meeting. Which brings us to our amended committee referral agenda. I would entertain a motion and a second for approval of that amended agenda. So second. All right, motion by Mr. Alamon, second by Mr. Gwaltney. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? That's approved 11 to zero, which brings us to other new business. 10-04-24, request to set a public hearing for consideration of a final development plan at 232 Green Springs Highway for Bank of America to permit the construction of a 4,000 235 square foot single story branch bank as well as associated parking landscaping and other site improvements this comes to us from the Planning Commission with a vote of six to zero to one favorable recommendation uh, mr. Kendrick I, I forgot what when I can what, June May 13th okay so we will set that for May 13th at 6 p.m. All right, next item, 110424, request to, for consideration of approval of vouchers for the period of March 12, 2024 through April 8, 2024. Uh, Mr. Jones? Uh, uh, yes, sir, this was a group effort uh, this week. <laughs> uh, so uh, Mr. Gwaltney and Mrs. Smith uh, and I worked through them, and so uh, uh, I believe we covered everything. Uh, so I would uh, move for approval of vouchers, and I want to thank uh, Ms. Smith for stepping in. Uh, Happy to. And I would second that we, motion. We work through it. All right. So we have a motion for Mr. Jones, a second for Mr. Gwaltney. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Uh, it's approved 11 to 0 and will be resolution 2442. Last item, 130424, request for consideration to change bank signatures, brought to us by J.J. Bischoff. This is, obviously, we've had some retirement, so we need to change some signatures. So that's, <laughs> that's all this is, and we need to get it done. So uh, I would entertain a motion and a second for approval. Motion to approve. Second. All right, motion from Ms. Smith, second from Mr. Gwaltney. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? That is 11 to 0, and will be resolution 24, 2443. All right, so with that, we'll go into our comments. Uh, Mr. Mayor, you got anything tonight? No. All right, Mr. Gwaltney? Um, sorry, didn't look at the list here. I do not believe I need to set public safety. Um, I do not need to set public safety, so uh, I have no other comments. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Ms. Gear. Yes. So just to um, uh, bring to everybody's attention, you have a press release that uh, George uh, from the Arts Council left for everyone to look over tonight. They're very excited about having Steve Skipper uh, present his first uh, public exhibit uh, beginning next Thursday night downstairs um, from 5 to 7. And um, so uh, he is a Rosedale resident, and he uh, grew, grew up here uh, from Homewood. This is, this is some of his uh, art. He is not formally trained, uh, yet he was named U United States Sports Academy uh, Artist of the Year last year. He is the official uh, portrait um, artist for the University of Alabama uh, football team. He has numerous uh, accolades and just a, a soft-spoken, lovely gentleman. Uh, he has also been commissioned by Buckingham Palace to do a portrait of Queen Elizabeth and Princess Anne. And that's going to be unveiled this year. Anyway, it's a really big deal, and his good friend Eric Essex is going to be joining us for some music. So anyway, I'll, I'll send the... Um, press releases, the official press releases to each of you. You can put them on your social media and we're very excited. And thank you, George and the Arts Council for bringing that to us. Thank you very much, and it's very exciting. Mr. President. Yeah, I was gonna go back to you, yeah. you do have an item. I scanned too quickly. <laughs> I would like to set public safety immediately following finance. All right. Sorry, Sorry. it's hard to disappoint anyone. <laughs> no problem. All right, Mr. Alamont. Yeah, I just wanna say, um, Enjoyed watching the Final Four and seeing Alabama play in the Final Four tournament. And that's it. <laughs> Appreciate you all. Roll Tide. <laughs> Thank you. Mr. Wolverton. I don't have anything for committee. No, you do. Correct. You um, do. I, you do. Oh, did I miss that? Yep. Uh, okay. Got it. Perfect. All right. After public safety. Um, do we, I guess I just want to ask, do we have a date yet for the uh, basketball game, Mayor? 
Uh, not, not yet. yet. Okay. Still All right. Gotcha. Um, yeah, I had a chance to run into Robbie a couple times in the last month. Um, I think he's a, a gem for our city and for the Exceptional Foundation, but also um, just everything that he does in the community. Uh, he helped run a bunch of soccer stuff uh, for Jefferson County Schools at the Mega Field um, about three weeks ago. And then last weekend, they had a uh, um, ex ed uh, basketball event at Shade Valley High School. So Robbie was out there keeping keeping the brackets um, under wraps and refereeing through some pretty stiff competition, to be honest with you. Um, some of those guys might be on the on their basketball teams at their respective high schools. So, um, And then I just wanted to thank uh, Andy. Uh, on Saturday, I was pretty parched. My voice is sh still shot. But uh, his daughter was finishing up a soccer game. And while he was picking up his power aids, he said, hey, do you want one of these? Because he saw that I was about to start coaching uh, coaching my son's team. So um, thank you for the, the assist. <laughs> <laughs> and I got, I got to work today. And somebody said, well, why is your voice gone? And I told them. And they said, well, it did it work? And I said, well, we got two wins. So there you go. maybe it did. <laughs> so anyway, that's it. All right. Thank you. Mr. Sims. Uh, and oh. I guess the color run. Sorry. Oh. Paul Kent had a great color run this weekend. Um, the crawfish boil was in the in the afternoon. We didn't get to enjoy it because we had soccer and volleyball and soccer and volleyball and volleyball. So, <laughs> but I'm sure it was great. The weather was perfect. All right, Mr. Sims. Um, thanks so much. Uh, the beautification board met today and had a great meeting, working on some things. Uh, just a couple of highlights of interest, looking at coming together with a scope to kind of look at a plan for beautification efforts for in the short term, so the next five years or so. Um, so you'll be hearing about that in the coming months. Also, um, they're coming up with some proposals for possibly, you know, some so, uh, swapping out the pole banners that are currently on display, the hardware and the signs that are currently up from Sanford, you know, rotating those out um, in the 18th Street downtown area. So that, that's currently what they're working on. And again, they have a vacancy, Ward 1. So if you know anybody, please send them um, our way to, to, reg to um, submit their interest with Bo. I've already spoke to one person um, who I think is going to apply. So um, if you know anyone else, please go ahead and spread the word. Also, um, this, week, this Saturday's Edgewood Spring Fest. So come on out to the elementary if you're around and be a good time to support um, you know, all the great work that the school does. Thanks. Thank you. Mr. Jones. Uh, finance at five, and I'll just make a quick comment on the, uh, the chili cook-off. Uh, I, I didn't think the thing could get any bigger. <laughs> it, it's so massive, and I think maybe next year for the first time after they've been doing this all, we need to put a team together. So I hope that we can, I hope that we can compete maybe like next it. year in the chili cook-off. That's, 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 that's a, a great lot idea. of work. Well, I'm going to put that on, on your plate. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I know I blame Glass. No, I blame Glass. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Mr. Hart, for that. Yeah. I second. Yeah. yeah. No, Nothing glass. further. <laughs> Ms. Smith. Um, yes. Uh, we'll be setting special issues to follow public works and um, got to see the eclipse today. It was super cool. And it happens to be Kyle's birthday. So he got the right. one and only opportunity to have his birthday on a solar eclipse. So there you go. I don't know. All right, thank you. Ms. Nelms. I don't have anything, but Carlos, didn't you do something in the Tilly Cook-Off last time? No, the people's champion. Right. Tomorrow. Right. <laughs> hey, oh, last year. Oh, sorry. It comes oh, with a trophy, sorry. right? It does. Yeah. <laughs> they don't give you a trophy unless So maybe he deal. can help us, give he, us some he advice. He stopped at the top. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't have anything else. All right, Ms. Andrus. Um, I do need to set P&D, and we have used the hardware on the poles. The Hollywood Garden Club is the second user of the signage that, um, thank you to JJ for coordinating that, but, um, but I really think it's a great thing that we did this with Sanford, and they allowed us to use this for other purposes, too. And then we have so many of them that I, I meant to say that to the city that we could have left up some of the Sanford ones and just and we have so many they're on every light pole so it's just really a nice gift that they gave us and so um, with that the, the Hollywood Garden Club is having their um, home tour at the end of the month so you know if you get a chance check, check that out thank you Mr. Harden I'm fine for not saying anything especially any barbecue kind of thing <laughs> 
All right, uh, Mr. Wolverton, did you have one more? Yes, I, I just, uh, I did have one more quick thing. Uh, Hall Kent um, and the police department are doing the uh, annual street safety day. That'll be this Friday, all day at the park, um, between Patriot Park and the school. Um, so just wanted to thank the police department um, for their participation. Officer uh, Sullen is helping to set everything up and get it running. Um, and then obviously thanks to uh, Jill Walden and to uh, Justin Bowlby for their assistance in handling the school side of things. Um, and did, did want to let people know that there was an accident near the park last week uh, and we are looking into some things. Um, so be on the lookout for um, some potential improvements around that area uh, in the coming weeks. Thanks. All right. Thank you. Now, Ms. Smith. Yes. Um, now, President Wyatt, I would like to move to go into executive session. Second. All right. All right. So we have a motion and a second to go into executive session. Mr. Yes. Kendrick, you want to give us our... Be limited to pending or threatened litigation. Hey, All right. Do we have a duration? Uh, duration yeah. So I think this one will probably take somewhere between 30 minutes and an hour. What was the topic? There, we don't tell you the topic until I, you get into executive session. 